Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. Let's discuss the next name reaction that is Bitch Reduction. This is very 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 important name reaction in case of the any kind of competitive examinations. Let's see the statement. Conversion of aromatic hydrocarbons into 1,4 dihydro products with metal in liquid ammonia and alcohol. What the statement is saying? The reactants are aromatic hydrocarbons. The aromatic hydrocarbons are subjected to reduction phenomena. In presence of what? Metal in liquid ammonia followed by alcohol. That can be converted into the corresponding dihydro product. Which kind of dihydro product? 1 comma 4 dihydro product. Simply, whenever you listen the word which reduction means, it is an example of the reduction reaction. Here the reactants are the aromatic compounds. Those are subjected to reduction. Thereby we will come up with 1 comma 4 dihydro compounds by using what? Metal in liquid ammonia and alcohol. Okay. Let's see the general chemical equation. We all know that the first aromatic compound is what? Benzene or not? So if the benzene is subjected to reduction, according to the which reduction what happens? We are coming up with 1 comma 4 dihydro product. What we are using? Metal in liquid ammonia and alcohol. Let's discuss the mechanism of this particular transformation. Initially what happens? We are using metal or not? We all know that the metals can readily lose one electron to produce positively charged ions or not? If you talk about the first A group elements. Generally in which direction whatever the metal which we are using, the metal is what? Lithium, sodium, potassium. We can use any one of the three. Whatever the alcohols which we are using here, what are those? Ethanol, isopropanol and tertiary butanol etc. So what happens? According to the general principles, the first year group elements readily lose this what? One electron or not. So this is the general representation of the metal. The metal is going to donate one electron to this particular pi bond. This pi bond is subjected to homolytic cleavage. According to homolytic cleavage what happens? We will come up with radicals or not? So we are giving one electron. So this electron and this electron can form a what? Negative charge. And adjacent carbon is going to have radical character. This is called as what? 1 comma 2 radical anion. Here is the anion. Adjacent carbon containing radical. That's why we are saying with what? 1 comma 2 radical anion. This one will involving in the delocalization phenomena. See this one, the adjacent pi bond is involving in the homolytic cleavage. Because of that reason, we will come up with what? Electrons are not. So, these two radicals can form a pi bond. And here, this carbon will get the radical character. 1 comma 2 radical anion is converted into what? 1 comma 4 radical anion or not? We know that comparing with this anion, this anion is highly stable. Why? Because in this particular case, these two species are adjacent to each other because of the situation what happens we will observe repulsions. But in this case what happens see the distance if you connect this one is 1, 2, 3, 4. So 1 comma 4 radical. Okay. So this radical is more stable because the distance between the radical and the negative charge is very far. Now what happens in the solution we are having what alcohols or not? Alcohols are readily gives protons. So, one proton here we are giving to this negatively charged ion. Thereby, we will come up with what? This kind of space. Now, we are having what? Radical or not? So, in the solution, we are having more number of metal atoms. So, one more metal atom is subjected to the formation of an electron. This electron is going to have an interaction with the radical. Then, it can form a negative charge. From the solution, again, the space will take the Positively charged hydrogen, thereby we will come up with what? 1 comma 4 dihydro compounds. Right? The mechanism is very, very simple in this particular transformation. Now the question is, if you have any kind of substitution at benzene, what kind of product will be absorbed? 
This is the very, very important point. Most of the aspirants do not know about the particular thing. If you have a electron releasing group, what will be the major product? If you have a electron withdrawing group, which one will be the major product? Right? So, for that purpose, we are observing what? Regioselectivity. The selectivity plays a very important role in organic chemistry as you all know that. Right? Regioselectivity means what? Any chemical reaction which is producing unequal ratio of structural isomers, commonly called as regioselectivity. So, for example, if you have a chemical reaction, A is going to produce B plus C. Assume that the B is the major one, the C is the minor one. But these two are what? Structural isomers. So, in a chemical reaction, what we are observing? We are observing more than one products with unequal ratio. But these two are what? Structurally closer. So, structural isomers. Then such type of situation is commonly called as regioselectivity. Very, very important. Any chemical reaction which is producing unequal ratio of structural isomers. What the people are saying, the regioselectivity phenomena is observed in the bitch reduction products. So, how can we observe? Let's see. Here we have two cases. The first case is what? If the benzene is substituted with electron withdrawing group. Which one is the major product and which one is the minor? In both the cases, what? The product are 1 comma 4 diarrho products only. See this one. In this case, this particular compound is major in nature. This one is minor in nature. If you see these two compounds, the molecular formula will be same. But the structure will be different. That's why these two are what? Structural isomers. Okay, let's see the mechanism. Why this particular product is the major in nature? This is the beauty of organic chemistry. In organic chemistry, for each and every case, we will have a particular reason with proof. Right? See the mechanism. Initially, what happens? The same mechanism will follow for this particular mechanism also. Okay, so initially, what happens? The metal is donating its electrons, thereby we are creating negative charge here, negative and a negative. Now this one is involving in the what? Delocalization. The 1,2 radical anion is converted into what? 1,4 radical anion. Then we will give H plus ion followed by, again metal is donating electron, then followed by taking H plus ion. Thereby we are coming up with this product. In the second situation, what is happening, if the metal is donating its electrons to the adjacent carbon, here what happens, the metal donating its electrons to the withdrawing group attached carbon. In this case, what we are observing, adjacent carbon. So, because of that reason, what we are observing, the negative charge will be formed here and the radical will be formed. See this, radical negative charge. So, the radical will involve in the delocalization phenomenon. Thereby, we will come up with this kind of anion. So, for the anion fulfillment, we are giving H plus ion followed by again metal. Then again H plus ion, we will come up with this kind of compound. So, according to the equation, which one is the major product? First compound is the major product or not? So, why this compound is major in nature? Why? Because if we observe the mechanism, whatever the carbon ion which we are creating at this carbon, the carbon ion is connected to what? Electron withdrawing groups or not? We all know that whenever the negatively charged carbon atom is connected to the electron withdrawing group, the stability of carbon ion will be increased. In this case, see this one? Negative charge is creating at this carbon. It is not connected to electron releasing group or electron withdrawing group. But here, it is connected to the withdrawing group. That's why the formation of this radical anion is highly stable in nature. Because of that reason, this product is the major one. Okay? Let's take the second case. We are going to have electron donating group or electron releasing group. In case of electron releasing group, this one is the major product, this one is the minor product. 
द सिमिलर काइंड ऑफ सिचुएशन द रीजन इज सेम सीरीज In the first case, we are creating negative charge at the carbon, which is directly connected to donating group. In the second case, we are creating the negative charge adjacent carbon, right? We are creating the negative charge at the adjacent carbon. Here, see this one. This carbon ion is connected to electron donating group. The stability of the carbon ion will be increased or decreased? Decreased or not? That's why. This product formation is minor in nature. This product formation is higher in nature. These two points you need to remember. Whenever you have the electron withdrawing group, the first product will be the major product. Whenever you are having the electron donating group, the second product will be the major in nature. The reason is what the stability of carbon ion. Okay. these two things you need to remember thereby you can have different kinds of applications which are related to the birch reduction let's see one or two examples see this one naphthalene is subjected to which reduction means we will come up with this kind of compound here see uh, this is one kind of example it is a electron withdrawing group or releasing group this is electron releasing group or not that's why which product will be the major one this product will be the major one or not so this product will be the major one this is what birch reduction now this one is subjected to hydrolysis ethers whenever subjected to hydrolysis one product will be what alcohol or not see this one here you will come up with oh the oh will be involving in the keto enol dimerism so this enol group is converted into keto group after that what happens here the proton the rearrangement of this proton takes place to form the alpha beta unsaturated carbonyl compound so it means by using the which reduction we can synthesize alpha beta unsaturated carbonyl compounds also right next example here see we have an electron withdrawing group subjected to what which reduction followed by the reaction with one alkyl halide what we are observing the cooh is going to be removed and we are placing what r group directly after the reduction so what happens initially similar mechanism takes place minor charge we are creating here here is the radical it is the acid it can readily loses the proton that's why here also we are having the minor charge this minor charge will involving in the conjugation see this one because of the conjugation we are getting this kind of species here what happens this is involving in the delocalization two radicals can form a five bond and radical the one to radical anion is converted into one four radical anion then this intermediate we are having the metal the metal is again giving the electron thereby we are creating minus charge that give the h plus ion thereby we will come up with this kind of species now what happens we are having rx group or not the rx group is treated with this anion now what is happening see this one the oxygen is creating the pi bond thereby these pi bonding electrons move towards what this carbon or not so this carbon will have take this carbon will have negative charge or not this negative charge approaches to the r then x is removed in the form of x minus thereby r is going to attach at this carbon now the second oxygen will forming a pi bond thereby we are creating the minus charge then given by we are creating the negative charge the negative charge going to take h plus ion from the solution by the elimination of co2 thereby what we are observing the replacement of the electron withdrawing group with the r group this is very very important application this kind of applications you can observe in the net examination so this is all about what your bridge reduction